Have you ever noticed having a single or multiple firm, round and painless sores on your skin or on your genitals, rectum, lips or mouth? What about having a rough red or red-brown rash all over your body, including your palms and soles? Have you experienced having fever, muscle aches, sore throat, patchy hair loss and headaches? How about the sudden weight loss and fatigue? Do you ever wonder why you are experiencing these things? Well. To answer that question, these are actually part of the primary and secondary symptoms a person may have suffered if he or she is infected with syphilis. Syphilis is a bacterial infection caused by the teeth pallidum bacteria. Through direct touch with a syphilitic sore, this bacteria can transmit from person to person. These sores may develop on the skin or mucous membranes of the vagina, the anus, the rectum, the lips, or the mouth. The most common ways for syphilis to spread are through oral, anal, or vaginal sexual activity. You can get syphilis by having sex with someone who has it. You can get syphilis when your mouth genitals or another part of your body touches a syphilis sore on a person who has the disease. People rarely pass the bacteria on through kissing. Moreover, syphilis can also be passed on to an unborn child during pregnancy. Being pregnant does not protect you or your baby against any STD. Congenital syphilis is a disease that arises when a syphilis-positive mother transmits the infection to her unborn child during pregnancy. Transmission is possible at any stage of pregnancy and can result to fatal death or multiple organ problems. If you are pregnant and suspect you have syphilis, consult your doctor as soon as possible because the infection can be passed to your baby during pregnancy. There are also instances when a person infected with syphilis doesn't know that he or she has syphilis. Many people with syphilis are actually unaware of their infection. Even if you don't have any symptoms, you could have syphilis. Hence, you can spread syphilis without even realizing it. To understand more about syphilis and the facts surrounding it, we have invited Ms. Elaine Mara, an STD specialist. When it comes to something like syphilis, it is important for us to separate the facts and the myths to protect ourselves and the persons we love. Here are the most common myths about syphilis. If you are sexually active, you can get syphilis. The only way to avoid cephalus or any sexually transmitted infection is to not have anal, vaginal, and oral sex. The Center for Disease Control offers two tips to lower your risk of getting cephalus. 1. Be in a long-term, mutually monogamous relationship with a partner who has been tested for cephalus and does not have cephalus. Number 2. Use latex condoms right away every time you have sex. Screenings are an important tool if you are sexually active and a high risk. CDC offers schedules of recommended STI screening, outlining who should get them and when. Your healthcare provider can also provide guidance on the screenings you should have. If you have questions or you would like to be tested for STIs, talk to your physician. Unfortunately, some people have syphilis for a long time without knowing it. It may not be obvious in their sex partners that they have syphilis because syphilis sores can be hidden in the vagina, anus, foreskin of the penis, or even in the mouth. The only way to know for sure is a test at your doctor's office. Most of the time, a simple blood test is used to test for syphilis. Cephalus can be cured with antibiotics from your healthcare provider. 
Although it is sometimes asymptotic, if left untreated, cephalus can spread to the brain and nervous system or to the eye, causing permanent nerve damage or blindness. For pregnant women, it is also potentially deadly for their unborn child. Having cephalus once does not protect you from getting it again. Even after you have successfully treated, you can still be reinfected. So, if you are having second thoughts and want to find out if you certainly acquire a disease, a syphilis like that, might as well ask your doctor to give you a blood test for syphilis. But of course, before that, you should look out for symptoms, such as a painless round sore that may appear on your genitals or in your mouth. Secondly, when your partner has syphilis or symptoms that might be syphilis, even if you don't have any symptoms, you should be tested for syphilis right away. Thank you.